men's 400 meter freestyle featuring American Lieutenant Brad Snyder. Today is the first anniversary of the worst day of his life. Exactly one year ago, while serving in Afghanistan, he stepped on an IED and exploded in his face, taking his sight. A remarkable story, one year, and he's back on the blocks in London. Take your mark. He's the first guy off the blocks. Keep in mind that in lane three, he's in Hamid in Hamid, and he is the defending Paralympic champion in this event. After a week of being in and out of surgery, that's when I realized that the, the surgeons were telling me that I'm blind, they're not gonna be able to fix my eyes. But the good news is, they're gonna be able to fix everything else. It is all about Lieutenant Brad Snyder. It took him eight weeks to leave the hospital, and here he is in London, closing in on a gold medal. The crowd comes to its feet. Snyder is all the way back. So snaps inform like, what space am I dealing with? So this is a small, a low roof, right? I can hear that with the snaps. Um, what I did in London was miraculous. It wasn't until after that I really had to go through the nuts and bolts of adapting my life. Come around, I feel the wall right here. I was also at the same time really learning to accept who I am as a blind person. What does that mean? And how do I now turn that lens to the horizon and say, what am I going to be capable of? Who am I going to be? Take your mark. Yeah. Hopping in and swimming laps for the first time, I felt comfortable, independent, and not only was I not struggling, I was doing something well. Cool. Good stuff, Brad. That's good. I think the magic of it is that I don't feel different. It's a black line on the bottom, it's two lane lines on either side, and it's a wall every 50 meters. I have very vivid images in my mind of what swimming is. And so when I'm doing it, I don't feel blind. Four years after London, Brad Steiner's focus is now targeted towards winning more Paralympic medals, but also at achieving a fierce level of independence in his own blindness. Come on, push, push, push. For him, that means the work doesn't end when he leaves the pool or the gym. Welcome to Casa de Snyder. I want to find ways to do everything that I used to be able to do. So I spent about five days down here building the squat rack. I had to mess it all up to realize there were different lengths of screws, and I built it two or three times, getting almost all the way to the end to realize that the only screw I had left was too short. With practice and the tools of accessibility, Snyder is better at blindness every day. But his seemingly unshakable spirit is still tested by moments of darkness. Every day I wake up, I have to re-realize, be reminded of the fact that I'm blind. I called my mom and said, Mom, I'm having a real bad day. I dream, I dream that I see all these great things and I wake up and I'm blind again. And I just think it's just so hard to have to do that every day. She said, Brad, you're looking at it all wrong. She said, instead of dreading the morning where you lose your vision every day, you have to look forward to the end of every day where you get your vision back for a while. Perspective is an incredibly powerful thing. And I think we all see the world that we want to see. There's good and bad in every situation. If you make a deliberate choice to look for the good in every situation, look for the good in every person, that's what you're going to see.